Across Britain, shoplifting incidents like this are happening at a rate of almost 4,000 an hour, with retailers saying it's getting worse. And it's not just theft that's on the up, so too are verbal and physical attacks against staff, often involving gangs of organised thieves. It ranges from abuse, and if you're from an ethnic minority woman, you'll get um, racist or misogynistic abuse. It ranges to threats, um, threats to people's family, threats of sexual assault. We've had colleagues threatened as they leave the store. We've had colleagues who've been threatened at home. Figures from the British Retail Consortium show a 50% rise in violence and abuse against shop workers, up from 870 incidents per day in 2022 to 1,300 with almost 9,000 of those resulting in an injury. Shoplifting more than doubled from 8 million to 16.7 million incidents a year. And the BRC estimates that the cost to retailers is £1.8 billion, a record amount. And despite the introduction of the Police Retail Crime Action Plan last October, it says more needs to be done. The police response is woefully inadequate. There is only so much the industry can do on its own, and that comes back to the response of the police, the need to prioritise further, and the need for a standalone offence. In co-op stores alone, £75 million worth of goods were stolen last year, and £40 million was spent by the company on improving security measures. Empty meat shelves like these are becoming a common sight in many of our shops, not because the meat has necessarily been sold out, but because it's been stolen. Just two days ago, £400 worth of meat was taken from this one store alone. And down here, where normally you'd expect to see joints of beef, lamb and pork, there's nothing. Not because they're out of stock, but because they are out of the security boxes that they keep the meat in. Why? Because they've all been stolen. The Home Office says that the police have committed to attend more shoplifting incidents, especially where violence has occurred. But the store owners say more prosecutions leading to stiffer sentences are still needed to deter the criminals and make their staff feel safer. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Manchester.